So here's the buck hoodlum after an attempt to split a four inch piece of spruce. It cracked right where the notch is, which isn't surprising. What is kind of surprising is the brake pattern, if you look at it, it steps out again right here. If you flip this over, it's hard to see on camera, but the brake actually runs along the top of the edge bevel, right where the sharpened edge bevel needs the primary grind. It's too faint to see, but it actually runs out along this for some time, shoots up, goes in around that, comes up and hits the notch. What is even more surprising is if you look at the edge bevel, it's actually turned in a number of spots. Now, first thing I thought was, holy shit, I'm after hitting a nail in the piece of wood, because it isn't uncommon here for people to spike wood, because they're idiots. But I looked at the wood really carefully, there was nothing in it, and then I looked at the edge even more carefully, there's no impaction of the edge right here. It's actually relatively sharp where it's turned. It just turned on some very small pin knots in the wood, and the entire edge just bent completely to the side. So, right here, it was very weak, and the edge just bent. Similar to down here in two spots, when I was chopping, the edge bent and pushed through the other side. But it also microchipped down in this area when I was chopping, and again fractured in a very gross pattern coming down through here, bumping out around that, and then running right parallel to the edge bevel uh, back this way. A horrible combination of weakness and fragility in the same blade, which is amazing considering this is 5160, which is inherently an extremely tough steel. In comparison, this is an MT151 uh, from MTech. It's listed as 440 stainless, so it's some. It's probably 440A. Uh, the edge on this came significantly thinner than the edge on the hoodlum. And as you can see, I've flattened it a lot back into the primary grind, reducing the secondary edge bevel angle and reducing its thickness significantly. And it's still in one piece, still absolutely fine, no issues uh, whatsoever. And you can see this knife has been used so heavily there's not very much coating left on it, except up by the tip, don't do a lot of work there. But that's absolutely pitiful. Some $20 440A stainless steel knife with a thinner edge bevel, which is sharpened at a lower angle, is much more durable than a 5160 spring steel knife from Buck Knives, which sells for about almost 10 times the price of this knife. Horrible and that's an embarrassment considering this outperforms it. Absolutely embarrassing.